If you're looking at the B-roll right next to me and thinking to yourself, why would anyone do that? Uh, just soak in and, and enjoy the fact that this is now a trend. Mullets are back, baby. Mullets are back. I didn't know that mullets were actually ever in, but they were in. Mm -hmm. Then people realized that they look ridiculous and then they decided to come back because in 2020, the coronavirus has been tragic for a number of different reasons. One of the less talked about reasons is it made people lose their minds and think that mullets are okay. They're never okay. They weren't okay back then, they're not okay today. Unless you're trying to be ironic or funny. But if you're doing it seriously, just reflect on your life choices because you're making bad decisions. So um, this is from Vogue. They're arguing that mullets are back and they're hot. Ugh. The people are into it, all right? So here's a beautiful, beautiful person who has beautiful hair. That texture is wonderful and they're ruining it. They're ruining it by cutting it in that weird shape that should not exist, it should be banned. Yeah, I think that the fact that her hair is so curly makes it harder to read visually as a mullet. But yes, it is short on the sides, that's definitely true. I thought it was supposed to be shorter on the front as well. No, no, no. Well, I thought that was the whole point. No, it's the, like the back is supposed to be long. Remember, yeah, it's yeah, part the back the is front. supposed to be long. No, I'm sorry. No, business, business in, the in the front. I thought business was short. I thought it back. was like that. Yeah, the, so, that woman has a mullet. Well, it looked kind of long. I yeah, see. I, okay, hold on. Let's pause. See, like this person, it's different. Like this is part of her whole. Thing. Look, it's her thing. Yes. So I, I feel like it's unfair to include her in this conversation. Sure. I, I'm talking about people like that guy, like that guy, right? Like, That's, what do we? Why? Why would you do that? There's other things going on with that, but um. <laughs> but the thing that I just like when like so Vogue wrote an article about this. Yes, it's nonsense. It's just the thing they do. It's like, wouldn't it be cool if it was coming back? Well, how would we know? Well, because Vogue would write articles about it. Wait, we're Vogue. Let's just write an article about it. It's just so <laughs> manufactured. Well, it's like back in the day being number one on TRL. Nobody voted on that. They got money from the company, they made them number one. It's so fake. Hey. How, That's what they how did. How dare you make me question my teen years? That's what they did. No, yep. you know what Christian did, by the way? Big mullet is paying people off. He what? called into TRL and like, Wanted he he requested like some metal song because that's what he was into. He's like, yeah. I want I want to vote for this metal song, and mm -hmm. they're like, Sure, bro. Yeah, we're right on it. We'll we'll put in your vote. Like, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right. Back to the mullets, though. You're right, though. Like these fashion magazines, they need something. They need something. So, like, which came first, the chicken or the egg? And the the real answer is Vogue. Vogue More tried money. to make this happen. <laughs> Stop trying to make this happen. Right? Yeah, mullets aren't gonna happen. Yeah, they, they can't just do like six months of, I don't know, dress reasonable. Like nobody's buying that magazine. It's gotta be some crazy new thing. Is there anything that would make you, like let's say we did a bet on something. Mm -hmm. And if I won the bet, you'd have to grow a mullet. Would you do it? Oh God, it would not look good. I know. <laughs> I know, that's why I want it. Um, Sure, I guess, I don't know what the bet would be, but. The thing it's is, such a big bet because it's not like cut your already long hair into a mullet. I have to grow my own yeah, torture. Yeah, uh, yeah, oh yeah. It takes several, several weeks. It's like you go weeks. through the- Weeks? Yeah, I mean, I don't know how It'll long- It take me a year to grow my hair that long. Really? Yeah, oh yeah. To be like six gotta, inches in the back? You gotta take some prenatals, makes that hair grow a lot faster. <laughs> Does it really? Yes, it does. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll try the fish oil. Yeah, but then there's scales and stuff. Um, yeah, no, maybe, I don't know. Yeah. I don't want it. I know. <laughs> I'm, right. gonna, I'm gonna we'll make see, you get we'll a see. mullet. <laughs> we gotta figure out if there's anything that we might have conflicting views on so we can make a bet. Uh, but the thing is like you're- Well, we found out today on the show that you're part of the K-Hive. So there's that. How? You love and worship Kamala Harris. And you think people are being unfair to her? That's right, yes. And I, I'm critical of her, because mm -hmm. I have that distance, I'm not biased. So that's a difference between us. Maybe I'm the one taking that Clinton cash. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're taking that Kamala cash. <laughs> oh, that's right, the Kamala cash. It's a K in cash, because oh. of Kamala, yeah. yeah. Clever, yeah. clever. Okay, um, Real we'll, quick. We'll, we'll do a mullet bet over 2024, if she was the nominee or not. Oh, that's fascinating. I she's not going to be the nominee. Biden, here's the messed up thing about this though. Go. Anna would look great with that mullet. Me? 
No. Yeah, if you no. kept your hair right like it is right now, but shaved the side, it would be cool. That is not. Let's it's do just, a poll. It's not who I am. Would it's Anna not, look good with a mullet? It's not my essence. Uh huh. You it's know? gonna be. I really like fem like. Mm -hmm. I just I don't know I I'm I guess I'm boring because I'm not like edgy in any way in the way I look like I don't do edgy haircuts I don't mm -hmm. do edgy makeup I don't wear edgy clothing I really like like kind of prissy feminine looks I've always been into that you're allowed to be <laughs> yeah I'm allowed to be okay yeah. I'm allowed to not like mullets and it's just it's just a part of who you are like yeah. I was saying a week or two ago I set trends I'm not trying to I just do that's just a natural thing totally that's what people say people are saying that John Iderola sets mm -hmm. trends yeah lots of mostly me trends. but other people too the yeah. biggest trends we need to find the oranges Always. of these trends I feel bad sometimes because I feel like I've kind of created a fashion whirlwind that the audience has to struggle to keep up with don't try. I, I, it's like it's flattering that you try, but don't try. Did you ever wear Jinko pants when you? I were? have no idea what that is. <laughs> Jinko biloba pants? Is that what it is? <laughs> it's Brett, like mm, they fit Brett good and they're good for my brain. Wore Jinko pants. I have never heard of that before in my you, life. So what is it, a Jinko? This pant? was it was very hot in the nineties. Mm -hmm. They were just these ridiculously big pants. Like they were just big pants. I had really baggy <laughs> jeans in the 90s. Not baggy. They're not necessarily baggy, uh -huh. but they're just big. Like the legs are very that wide. Sounds stupid. It was. <laughs> <laughs> it was. You know what? Let's do an, let's do a video about it coming back. And we'll make it come back let's like make that. An art, no, let's write an article mm -hmm, and an submit it to Vogue, right? Yep. Like Jinko pants. Jinko are pants are making a comeback, everybody. There's no evidence of this. Yep. And no evidence of it. And people will read it and they'll be like, oh, oh my God, I don't want to miss out. Where do I get Jinko pants? And they're like, they're the only place at shopdoit.com. <laughs> <laughs> Big old pants. Big Why? Old pants. I don't know. <laughs> because there's no point to anything in life. So just wear big pants. Just wear big pants. All right. Yeah. I, I, and I'll read one graphic. One graphic from this Vogue article about the mullets where they say as the vaccine effort ramps up, hairstyles are reporting or hairstylists, my bad. As the vaccine effort ramps up, hairstylists are reporting that their novelty starved clients emerging from a year in quarantine are eager to embrace the drastic statement making style. Are they? Which are is they? fast becoming a symbol for the post apocalyptic. I, I can't, this is stupid. No. Ugh, it's just so None over this, the top. And I have no problem. This is true. Teen None Vogue does some good work. I don't have a problem with Teen Vogue. Yeah. I don't have a problem with fashion stuff. I joke about it. But, you know, for a couple of years, I hosted Trendy or Trashy. So no big deal. Mm. But I have some background. I'm kind of an expert. Um, I don't really have a problem with that. And I also, oh, but the thing I have a little bit of a problem with is the results of the poll. Which was run on Twitch. Would Anna look good with a mullet? Oh my God. With 56% of the vote, no. But 44 was it? Yes. Wow. So that's pretty close. I like both parties, mm -hmm. to be honest okay. with you. The yep. people who are honest about how awful mullets are, but also the people who think I'm attractive enough to pull one off. So I love all of you. Well, Thank you to the Twitch community. Tempo Dan says, I want to see Anna in Jinkos and a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do both? Of course. Well, people's heads just explode. Of course. <laughs> Thanks for watching The Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.